How are we doing out there? I hope you're all spot on. Thanks for watching the video. Now I've been shopping. I've been to Asda. Come and have a look at what I've got. I was having a little walk around Asda and I came across this um, and I noticed it was new. Extra special fennel sausage nduja. I think that's how you say it. And red pepper sourdough pizza. With 24 hour fermented sourdough. Ah, looks like Italian spreadable sausage. Little traffic light system there for the nutrition. And there is the serving suggestion. This was four pounds and 50 pence. Four and a half quid. So let's take a look at the box. It's a big pizza. Well, I know you can get them bigger, but um, yeah, it's a fair old size. I'm holding that quite far back. We've had a look at the front, so let's go around the back. Ooh, look at that. Got a bit of spiel there. Look, um, if you want to read that, pause that. Bye, knock yourself out with it. This is what we're passionate about. This is extra special. Some spiel there. Sourdough pizza base topped with seasoned tomato sauce, mozzarella cheese, fennel, pork, sausage, crumb, and nduja, pork, sausage, tomato sauce. I have trouble saying that word. Um, I'm glad there's an N before it. Nduja. 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 Something like that anyway. Um, allergens are wheat and milk in there. They are the ingredients there. No artificial colours, flavours or hydrogenated fats. Warning, extra care has been taken to remove bones, although some may remain. Well, we hope not on a pizza. We don't want bones on a pizza. So there is more nutritional information in more detail. If you want to pause that and uh, have a look at that and study it, by all means, go ahead. 477 grams, packed in the UK with pork. From the UK and non-UK countries for ASDA leads. Cooking instructions. 220, 428, 428 Fahrenheit. That's very precise, isn't it? Fan 200, gas 7 for 12 minutes. And there is a little bit of procedure there. Anyway, let's get this open and see what we have got. I think that's the Italian flag. <laughs> um, yeah, let's, let's get into this. Do we have a tab system? Um, it's the old one finger tab technique with the assistance of my belly, which is going down very slowly. Come on, what's going on here? Um, can you see? Okay, I'm having a bit of a struggle here. Uh, yeah. We're in just about. There, that's what you get. So I'm going to get my um, tape measure out. I'm going to um, going to measure how big this pizza is. Yeah, let's get the old rule on it. Um, let's have a look, see how many inches this pizza is. Uh, so we're looking at about 11 inch. 11 inch pizza. I'll measure it the other way because it might be different that way. <laughs> I'll measure it that way. Yeah, 11 inch. Got to the bottom of that. Let's get in to our 11 inch pizza. Um, let's have a look. We've got, we've got in these. Someone said, Does it, if you just go around the back, um, you can open it dead easy. So, thanks very much for the information. Oh, no, it's gone everywhere now. Anyway, I'm going to spread the toppings anyway. I always like to spread the toppings out. Get that rid of that, put it in the bin. Um, because there's not many <laughs> not many toppings on it. For your, uh, for your four and a half quid. I want this to be full. A lot of bread. Get that on there. And I'll bring you down to my level, you can have a look. Yeah, there there we go, look. I will wash my hands as well. There's your meat. Your nduja, your fennel sausage. Fennel, that's aniseed, isn't it? Fennel. Taste of aniseed. You don't get many of these little mozzarella balls. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Nice if there were more toppings. I'm not spread it out a bit now. It looks a bit better, but we do want more toppings, don't we? More cheese as well. Just having a look at the instructions that I cook it and it says you to put it directly on the shelf. So that's what I'll do. It says no trays required. Well, it doesn't say no trays required, but it just says um, slide the pizza directly onto the middle shelf. And that's so that's what I'll do. 
it's preheating at the moment as you can see and it's all there you can't really go wrong you put your temperature in and it says pizza and it also you change it to put fresh which this is it's not frozen and they put the time on I get lots of questions about the oven I'm not sponsored by them I didn't get it for free or anything like that it's a sage um, a sage air fryer multi cooker it doesn't microwave it says you've got a board you can sort of use that board to sort of ease it in so that's what I'm going to do like that so there we are it's in for 12 minutes now I'll just monitor it because um, quite ferocious is this oven and also it says you have to keep it in your fridge it says it's not suitable for freezing mm. just put the television on watch the football scores got some really bad news the legend Sir Bobby Charlton has passed away um, just seen it now on the news and I uh, thought I'd just um, mention it absolute legend of a man it's done it didn't take 12 minutes it took 10 minutes and um, it says when it's brown so that to me is um, that's done cheese is turning brown ah, better taste good I hope it does let's get it chopped up now do I do me pizza joke <laughs> How many slices am I going to cut it up into? Um, I can eat four. If I cut it up anymore, I struggle. I oh know, terrible, isn't it? Terrible. I can manage four. I'll tell you what I'll do. How's that? That's not too bad. My chopping skills, not too bad. There we are. Quite um well it's a sourdough crust. Oh, we're dropping it here. We don't want to be wasting any of that. Get that on there. Yeah. Bot bottom there is is done. Yeah, a bit doughy round edges like. So let's um let's get into it and uh let's see what it's like. Meat's all at the back. See what this is like. Get a few more bites, because I didn't get any meat then. Mm. That sausage is nice. I am getting a taste of aniseed as well. That will be the fennel sausage. Very faint, but I've got it. It's there. Got a lot of crust. What we need now is a um, big dollop of um, garlic mayonnaise or something like that to dip them crusts in. Definitely. I do eat my crusts. What do they say? If you don't eat your crusts, you won't get curly hair. It's something like that, isn't it? Mmm. It's tasty. It is tasty, it's just lacking, it's just lacking extra topping on it, it just needs, you know, it's it's an extra special range, so, get it loaded up, get it loaded up, definitely need some, some dip for the, for the crusts, but it's pretty tasty. Me being me, I like to put some chilies on it. Just give it a little bit of spice, a little bit of heat. But that sausage is tasty. You're getting a little bit of spice through from the sausage. Not no no heat, but it is. It needs to be more cheesy as well. It needs to be more cheesy, more cheesy and more sausage required. However, it is it is tasty. 
and I'm glad I tried it. Thank you very much for watching. Would I buy it again? I probably wouldn't buy it again. I probably wouldn't buy it again. And the marks out of 10, probably a the gen gen it's probably a seven, seven out of 10. I wouldn't buy it again. Good luck with the football, with your scores, and good luck to the rugby tonight. You're watching that. All the best. Thanks for watching, and I'll get back to you on the next one.